Hello guys, what's going on? It is me, Sniffer94 AK Stekan, and today I am bringing you a Call of Duty World at War gameplay. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm bringing you a Banzai gameplay, and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about um, what I think about the Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, and which game I think will be the game of the year. And I'm also gonna pick a side, I'm gonna talk about the consoles and the PC. So let's get right into it, I have much to talk about. Uh, so to be fair, I'm a true fan of the Battlefield series and the Call of Duty. I have never uh, like left any game behind, I have bought every single one of them. I have them in my, uh, not closet, but uh, in my hylla. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so bad at English sometimes. I don't know, some words is just so uh, hard to figure out. Uh, but anyways... Um, so, if I were to show a game of the year, then it would be Red Orchestra 2 Heroes of Stalingrad. And why is that? Well, that's because I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy playing a game that is based on real fact and real environments, uh, and when you actually can feel the heart of the game, which, uh, and, and the gameplay, and the reality, and the fun. Oof, sorry guys. And the Red Orchestra 2 is based on... Uh, it, 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 they have actually uh, made the maps um, so it l actually looks like it does in real life. Which is totally amazing. I, I actually loves it. Uh, and the, the, m the basic fact that the Red Orchestra is only able on the PC. Like, there's no... Uh, they haven't lowered the graphics on the PC and the other consoles get like shitty graphic um, and th that's the reason like if uh, I'm a PC player and I uh, enjoy playing it the most then I usually stick to the PC games but as, as I said before I will never left any Battlefield or Call of Duty behind I will buy every single one of those games because I have figured out how to buy them uh, yeah, you know, if you're young, you have kind of uh, problems with the uh, with the money. Well, I just make some deals with my parents, and it's all fine. I know if some uh, like families have like um, economical problems, then it's kind of uh, hard to uh, like get every single one of those games if you play on the console. Um, but anyways, uh, the November is like the heart of the <laughs> the game produ production sale, but well, whatever. Um, but uh, yes, I, I stick to the Red, Red Orchestra to Heroes of Stalingrad, uh, and you will be seeing some videos about that. But um, yes, and now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the PC, Xbox, and the PS3. Um, to me, if I were to show a... Uh, of course, uh, I would show the PC, I would show uh, to play games on the PC because I'm a PC player but I figure out the most times when you're playing like um, PC with your fr w if you have a friend visiting or something then it, it is not boring but you don't s you don't talk that much and you you don't get like conversations you hundred percent focused into your computer screen uh, and sometimes I, I think that's kind of lame because you get you get no opportunity to like have fun you know so if you have a friends visiting or something like that then the console is totally perfect to uh, um, that that's a great choice uh, because you can play fighting games together and uh, playing co-ops and th there's so much fun in the um, consoles sometimes and by the way he got owned like seriously, how can people miss me? Sometimes they are just, uh, they have worthless aim. Um, but uh, yes, so uh, I, I, if I play alone, then I stick to the PC. If I play with friends or something like that that are visiting in my house, then I usually play on the consoles. And I have nothing against the consoles whatsoever. Uh, they, they, it's totally fun to play it actually, because I'm kind of bad at it. So. Uh, I r usually get my uh, my ass beaten. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, I hope you get a great time and I hope you like this video because I want my words out there. Uh, so, bye guys, have a nice day.
Okay.